Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Flying Fish. Uh, not had big success with these guys. Rico sent this to me and I have been very unimpressed with what these guys are doing. Uh, maybe this is going to change my mind. I have the triple and I have a quad left to do from them. So uh, we're going to dive into the triple here and see uh, if it's uh, something worth uh, picking up or not. Uh, and then this is just my opinion now guys. There's probably people that love this beer and love all the rest of their beers. Uh, I have not been impressed so far. So this is a nine and a half percent triple. This is a uh, uh, Belgian, I guess we would call it a Belgian. It doesn't say Belgian triple on here. Uh, Abbey triple. And uh, both Rake Beer and Beer Advocate have it at nine and a half. Untapped unfortunately has it at 9.7. And it's got nine and a half written on the bottle here. So uh, the note he sent to me when he sent it to me, he says it's 24 IBUs. And the brewery is out of Somerdale, New Jersey. And he paid $1.99 for a single and $10.99 for the four pack probably. Yeah. So uh, $1.99 is not bad for nine and a half percent beer as long as it's worthy. Uh, so let's see what this one brings to the table. Uh, commercial description here is pretty long. You are holding the inaugural release of a multi-year brewing experiment to brew series of beers as diverse as the great state of New Jersey. Our theme is a state-long artery that connects us. Each beer will focus on a unique aspect of an individual exit, whether an ingredient or event. The journey begins at exit four, right up the street from the Flying Fish Brewery. As one of the first craft brewers to embrace Belgian-style beers, We've chosen to start with a Belgian triple, finished with plenty of American hops. Note the haze and golden hue and the aroma of citrus with hints of banana and clove. Then taste the Belgian malt flavors and subdued bitterness in the finish. Bottle condition, this beer will develop as it ages and joy. And well, I mean, hopefully there's a date on it somewhere. I'm going to look for that when I come back. But how are you going to know unless they put a date on it somewhere, how old the beer is. Uh, Moss is uh, Malto Franco Belge Pils Malt Wireman Acidulated White Wheat Demera Sugar Hops of Simico Columbus Palisades and Amarillo and the yeast is a Belgian Abbey. So uh, sounds sounds good. So hopefully it'll, it will live up to it and uh, uh, it'll be a tasty beer. I have, like I said, I have been unimpressed with these guys so far. Uh, while I get to cap off of this, I think that's all we need to talk about. I'll tell you, cuisine is Mediterranean. The cheeses are a sharp blue cheddar. The stronger cheeses. Uh, meat is pork and poultry. Uh, that's where the snifter gallop or chalice. I've got my favorite snifter. It says here it can be selling for long periods of time. And we'll check for a date when I come back, guys. See if there's anything written on this thing. I don't see anything standing out right now, but we'll let it, uh, we just got condensation all over it, so we'll check and see. Not much of a head. Uh, it's just barely covering the top of the beer, maybe an eighth of the finger. Uh, a nice, uh, I'm going to say a nice amber, and it is not super clear. It's got a nice uh, haze to it. Maybe it's a chill haze. It says it was unfiltered, I think, in bottle condition, yeah. Maybe filtered, but bottle condition, I don't know. But it looks pretty decent. Let's get a nose to it. Very nice Belgian yeast to this on the nose. 
I'm not getting a huge banana. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting some clothes. The Belgian yeast is standing out more than anything else. A little bit of maltiness in there. Some crackery bread, bready malt. Hmm, smells decent. Maybe this will be the one that changes my mind. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Got a nice spiciness to it. Wow. This seems to be pretty decent. I am so, I am impressed. I, I have not been impressed so far with these guys. I am impressed. That is pretty damn tasty. Wow. I was just telling Rico when he was here over the weekend uh, uh, how unimpressed I was with these beers and he had said the same thing that he hadn't been impressed with anything so far. So I don't know if he's had this one or not, but this one tastes okay. I am, uh, and I'm going to call it like it is guys. If I don't care for the beer, I'm going to tell you that. Now that's what I've told you on all the ones from these guys I've done so far, but and this one tastes pretty good. I like this one. This is good. This is changing my mind about the brewery. Well, now I'm looking forward to the quadruple now. I was, uh, Kind of dreading uh, doing these last two because I'd been unimpressed with what I'd had so far, but this tastes pretty good. So, it's right out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up. Let her have a taste or two, and we'll see where she ends up. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Been sitting on about 15, 20 minutes or so. This has been the most impressive beer from these guys that I've had so far. Uh, and maybe they're... Belgian yeast specialist or something, uh, or, or better at brewing bigger beers or something. Uh, uh, this is pretty damn tasty. Uh, I looked at the bottle when I come back, and right here on the label, it's got a use by date, which is like a best buy or enjoying by. And it says here 030917. And they want you to have this by March 9th of 2017, and the date is the 17th of January 2017, so they've still got a couple months on it. I don't know what they're giving their shelf life on this beer for, nine and a half percent or. But this beer is probably going to keep it a little longer than what they've got on the bottle, I would think. Like I said, I don't know when it was put in the bottle. I'd much rather them put a bottle on date and let us make the decision when we want to have it. I saw them tell them when they want us to have it by. Uh, this is a little on the hoppier side with the citrusy notes and stuff going on here. Uh, I am getting a little bit, just a tiny bit of banana now that's warmed up a little bit and cloves. Uh, it does have a very nice malt backbone to it. Uh, very tasty. I enjoyed this. Uh, to be honest with you guys, if this was available here, I probably would buy this beer. It, is, it has been the best one so far from these guys that uh, Rico has sent to me. So uh, my opinion has changed. Uh, I, I enjoyed this. This was, this was a very delicious beer. I'm not a fan of this uh, this used by date. Would much rather see them do a, uh, uh, a bottled on date uh, on all these style of beers. And let us make that decision when we want to drink it by. Because this beer is going to be better, uh, or not better, but it's still going to be good after March. Uh, you may lose some of the hoppiness, and that may be the reason why they want you to have, have it by then. But I, won't, I still would rather see the, the uh, bottled on dates. So we'll know. Was, was it put in? And, October was it put in in August was it put in a bottle in July uh, because it'll be a whole lot more hoppier uh, the month it was put in the bottle than it it is now or by March uh, set in 17 March 7 2017 so uh, uh, I would like to taste some fresh and these used by or enjoyed by or best by days don't give us that opportunity so that's eh, just my two cents just my two cents I did enjoy it though uh, I'm impressed with this from these guys. I have been unimpressed so far. I don't show. Wow. Very nice. 
very, very nice. That one, that makes me want to get the quad out and try it. I've been very hesitant to try this one or the quad because the ones I've had so far have been meh, not that impressive. So, uh, I may even do that one tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I am impressed with this, though, considering what I've had from these guys so far. Uh, to me, guys, uh, it's, uh, it's an eight. It's an eight beer to me. It's, uh, it's got a very nice Belgian yeast quality to it. Kind of citrusy, a little bit of banana, a little bit of cloves, nice malt backbone, everything you want. Uh, so, uh, very tasty. Very, very tasty beer. And I've been uh, giving these guys a, a bad rap so far, but this one is, uh, this is a good one. This is definitely one to pick up if you're into this style of beer. Alright, uh, you've got my grade. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 86. Very good. It is very good beer. I think it's a couple of notches a little better than that, but, you know, it is what it is. And over to Red Beer, they say 90 overall and 93 in the style. A number from those guys. And for our final check-in, oh, by the way, uh, Red Beer has it at uh, 24 IBUs, where uh, Beer Advocate and Untapped doesn't have the IBUs listed. So. And Untapped has this one at 3.7, which is their... B plus to A minus grade. I usually consider 3.7 to be a B plus beer, but these guys are very conservative uh, about giving anything a better grade than a 4.5. So uh, this may be their A minus beer. So B plus, A minus from these guys over here. So very good numbers. Very nice. So uh, I agree. It is it is a tasty beer. So if you've had this one from uh, uh, Flying Fish Brewing, this is their Exit 4 American Triple. My spirit. Thanks, Rico. I do appreciate it, sir. This changed my mind a little bit, buddy. Uh, this is a tasty beer where everything I've had so far has not been that spectacular. So, I'm anxious to try the, the, uh, the quad in there now. So, uh, if you've had this from them, let me know what you think of it, guys. Uh, I enjoyed it. Come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of the fridge. See you then.